Anytime we try to move forward, thoughts will come telling us what we can't do and how it's not going to work out, how the problem is too big. We know what God promised. We believe it in our heart, but all these doubts start to bombard our mind. And the scripture says, the enemy goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The purpose of a lion's roar is to intimidate their opponents, to strike fear and terror, so much so that it will paralyze the other animal. There are animals that are larger, an elephant, a hippopotamus, they're much bigger, stronger. But when the lion roars, it's so powerful, so intimidating, they back down. In the same way, our enemy loves to roar, not out loud, but in our thoughts. He uses intimidation, fear, doubt to try to paralyze us. Thoughts like, you'll never get well. You saw the medical report. You'll never break the addiction. Everyone in your family struggles. You can't accomplish that dream. You don't have the talent. How you handle the war will determine whether or not you reach your destiny. If you believe the lies, let the fear take root, it will keep you from seeing the promise. You have to learn to ignore the roar. Don't pay attention to the threats. The enemy is all bark and no bite. He goes about as a roaring lion. He's not a lion. He doesn't have any power over you. The only power he has is the power you give him by believing the roar. When those thoughts of worry come, fear, anxiety, recognize what's happening. It's simply the enemy roaring. That's what he does. You can't stop the roar. You can't pray away the negative thoughts, get so determined that you're never going to feel fear, not going to allow the threats in. You're going to hear the roar, but you don't have to be intimidated. You don't have to live worried. The roar doesn't mean you're not in faith. It doesn't mean you'll never see the dream. The roar is a sign that what God promised is on the way. The enemy wouldn't be warring if he didn't sense there were great things in your future. He wouldn't be shouting those threats if he didn't know you were a giant killer. He wouldn't be telling you those lies if healing, freedom, abundance wasn't around the corner. The scripture says the enemy is a liar and there is no truth in him. When he roars, you can take the opposite of what he's saying. You'll never meet the right person. You've been single so long. Lord, thank you. Now I know the right person is on the way. I believe they're already headed my direction. You hear that roar. Your child will never get back on course. You raised him right, but look at where he is now. Take the opposite. Father, thank you. Now I know that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That my child will fulfill his purpose. That he will do great things. The reason the enemy is roaring is because you're closer than you think. He's trying to threaten you with intimidation, fear. The truth is, the roar means you're a threat to Him. Start ignoring the roar. Quit living worry about your health, your finances, how you can accomplish that dream. God has not brought you this far to leave you. He's taken care of you in the past. He's going to take care of you in the future. It says the enemy goes about seeking whom he may devour. That means he can't devour everyone. What determines whether or not you can be devoured is what do you do with the roar. If you believe the roar, then you'll be defeated. If you dwell on the lies, live worried, intimidated, afraid, you won't see the promises come to pass. What do I need to do? Instead of just giving my worries to God, what I want to do even more is I want to give my life to God so that I'm hidden with God in Christ Jesus. My whole life belongs to Him.